And, you know, I think sometimes that's part of the appeal to doing a show like this is I think a lot of times people can get uh, lost in their goals, right? You're always looking ahead to what's next. It's hard to look back and, you know, really reflect on what you've done and the life you've led. Because if you think about it, for a lot of people, the second you step into that ring, you're living your childhood dream. And sometimes it can be hard to remember that when you're too busy thinking, I have this, I have this, I have a bodybuilding competition in a couple of weeks. I have the NWA pay-per-view. I have hopefully this opportunity, that opportunity. You can be so focused mm-hmm. that sometimes it's hard for people to look back. I mean, we've had Brian Kendrick on the channel a couple of times and, you know, he's somebody who almost never likes to look back. And I, I flat out told him, I was like, well, when you're here, I'm going to make you look back because you've done so much. And I want you to be able to appreciate what you've done because you deserve it. Like at, when you've had lived a life like that, I want people to be able to appreciate what they've done. They don't have to, you know, dwell on it, focus on it, but it's true. You know, an hour while chatting with me, I want them to be able to see what they've done because I think uh, they've changed a lot of lives, yourself included. And living a dream is pretty special. I couldn't agree more. You know, I've lived such a fantastic life, um, not to put myself over anymore, but I couldn't have asked for more out of this life. And if God forbid something happened to me today, um, I would be a happy man because you're right, Ken, I did get to live my childhood dream and I still do get to live my childhood dream in, in the ring, out of the ring, on the bodybuilding stage, out of the bodybuilding stage, at home, at work, you know, the things that I do in between um, wrestling and, and, and working out and bodybuilding. You know, I've got a wonderful wife and I've got, um, uh, you know, what I would consider a wonderful family and friends. And and um, I'm such a goal oriented person that it is hard to look back. You know, I just think the other day, my wife and I just purchased a second house the other day and um, we looked back and thought so much life has been lived. So many accomplishments have been had. And yet we haven't taken the time to sit down and soak all of those in. And that is a shame because um, you change so much every five years and uh, you, you do need to look at where you've been to see where you're going, you know? And I think that's just as important as setting blind goals for the future is um, calibrating what you've done in the past, how you can make that better and how do you make that a repeatable process in the future? And so, um, you know, I'm not sure if that was a question or just giving you additional context on how I feel there, but, you know, I couldn't agree more. Uh, being retrospective is just as important as being, uh, you know, perspective on your on your outcomes and goals and what's great is you know you're still so young you know that's you know a fun thing is i'll talk to somebody like tim storm who you know legendary guy but you know he'll admit he's on the tail end of his career and then i'll talk to somebody like yourself or mims who you know in theory you guys could be wrestling and i don't want to put any words in your mouth but 10 years 20 years who knows how much longer you guys have so really like you haven't even hit your prime yet and that's the beauty of it because you have such a bright future ahead of you 